Hi, this is Rika, and I have gathered some of the worst, in my opinion, submechanophobia clips that I have ever seen. Um, I did see bits of it, and uh, the first time I saw it, it almost made me gag. So the first one is a 1995 submarine voyage right through, and it's kind of a bit of a commercial. It's not an actual right through, because you have divers actually getting close to the animatronics at certain points. Um, so yeah, let, let's do it. Adventure, dive, dive. Pressure in boat, straight forward, sir. Very well. I probably, Along if I had the chance, reefs, I'm not sure if I would write this attraction. This undersea world. I think I'd Riding probably try it, but then not like it at all. Other creatures are lurking in the depths of mysterious caves. Favorite hiding places for octopus. Lobster and moray eels. With the use of our exterior sonar hydrophones, we can actually hear the fish talk. Okay, so these are, I think, outside shots because you see some shots where the fish are near the submarines, but I'm pretty sure that there weren't. A okay, this is definitely an outside shot. I'm pretty sure there weren't actually fish in the rides, right? Maybe they got put in... No, that's not an actual fish. That is an, uh, an animatronic. I Salvage think. operations ahead, sir. Mm. Divers to port and starboard. Very well. Check it out to 350 the divers. Feet. These Use aren't down angle. that bad, Blood but negative. they do give me kind of a bit of an uncomfortable feeling. Uh, there. The nope, yeah, that's definitely a bit ships. uncomfortable. Yeah, these, these look like real fish, though. Oh no, this octopus is no. Oh, I don't like it. Look at the tentacles. Think of all the treasure that must lie in those ancient halls. I am. <laughs> I have so much respect for the diver that filmed this shit. Because he went up close with these things. Satellite sub crossing bow, sir. Proceed with caution. Steer clear of mothership. Sir, sonar shows polar ice cap dead ahead. Very well. These ice caps Continue actually kind of look fall. cool. And actually, a lot of the things are quite visible. Like, you can... Scraping when you see an on-ride, it all looks Take dark and blurry. But this is actually filmed quite well. Which makes it sometimes not as scary, but sometimes scarier. It kind of depends. Uh -oh, oh, no. No, that's not the... Oh, it's huge. No, I don't like the, the tentacles move. For sea serpents. Oh god, no, he's getting too centuries. close to it. Ah, the tentacle no is getting too close to the freaking camera. No, 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 no. I would never, ever, ever in my life do this, what this guy's doing right now. No, he's getting so freaking... Fancy, he's getting so close to the camera. Okay, it's over. Billy. It's over. No, that one was... No, it actually made me uncomfortable. That, that sight. No, I don't like it. The mermaids are fine, they're kind of cute. I didn't like that. <laughs> Usually, like, when I see stuff like this, it doesn't bother me as, as well, like, when you see the on-ride of it. Uh, it doesn't actually physically make me cringe, or, like, physically make me cringe. But that shot of the squid, like, physically gave me goosebumps, and not the fun way. There they go. The treasures and grandeur of this ancient civilization are believed to have been submerged centuries ago by the eruption of a gigantic volcano. I do believe that this was a beautiful, beautiful All attraction, full. though, but aye, aye, sir. All ahead, full. just some parts of it are just too Alderman, creepy. steer clear of those tottering columns. Aye, aye, sir. Is the Atlantis part? Ah, oh, the the like the little seaweeds that are attached to it just moving. These are fine for me. It's not that bad. I wonder if they're gonna show the old sea serpent because I think the old the original sea serpent is a lot scarier than the newer one because uh, the eyes are like oh, oh fuck the there it is. Okay, the eyes are like crossing so fast, it looks panicked almost. 
which makes it a bit scarier. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh no, there it is. Look, it looks so panicked. I hate it. It's, it's cute though, I just don't like the way it, like, it moves so quickly. It looks like he's terrified. That's kind of scary. <laughs> All right, there it is. They're out. How about that? They're out. Wasn't that everything I promised <laughs> you? The second video is a exclusive look at Disneyland's divers working underwater. Um, this one's gonna be creepy as well. But it's by Orange County Register. Uh, so hopefully, I when I mention this, I will get um the copyright shit. But let's watch it. This one was creepy as well. You can just see the These divers, divers are not diving for fun. They're diving for work at Disneyland's Finding Nemo submarine voyage. I hope voyage. these guys Their are job, getting paid maintaining well. Maintaining the fish that swim oh, there and more. There's Inspection the and maintaining uh, ride vehicles, uh, submarines, like uh, taking care of, uh, again, the show elements, the fish, sharks, that sort of thing. So this is Disney the divers Nemo frequently version, dive at night under the, work lights and using flashlights, but there's more there difficulties to deal with other than darkness. Uh, the cold, this time of year is particularly, uh, water is down right now yeah, about 50 degrees, really cold. so in the water for that length of time is uh, pretty brutal. About four hours, you know, we started looking at our divers and, and seeing how they feel. We want to make sure is that they're extremely comfortable hours. in the water. How long so are we they take them through for? basic diving all the way through rescue diving. And that gives them every element so that in case there's an emergency, they know the procedures and they oh, train right device. to it. Over at Disney California touch, Adventure, oh, no, divers the maintain fountains. the world of color fountains. <laughs> I have about fountains 54 divers on the rolls are, right now. In DCA, the, there's a little bit more challenges fish. because we have moving platforms. So in that case, we add an additional element of training, which is wreck diving. <gasps> Finding oh, Nemo, no. the divers no, find no, some no, unusual no, no. things. That's the so iPhones. close to the... We find a lot of iPhones, uh, cameras, glasses, cell phones, hats. You name it. I guess a purse oh, the is probably the largest so big. thing we've no, ever found. The divers it. also inspect the submarines. That means oh, diving underneath them. I hate them. it. As I, long as you're not claustrophobic, you're okay. We do yeah, have some specialized so training that the resort provides mouth. for cast members that do <laughs> work in enclosed spaces. It can be a little oh, unnerving God. in some places uh, where you're it is very underneath unnerving. something and you've only got one way out. It's uh, very But again, you're in the water unnerving. with the trained professionals. Uh, you rely a lot on the other guys in the crew, on, the, on your type team. A lot of trust goes on, and they're yeah, all the well trained. They're fine. all top notch people. Damn it! So, I tried to turn off. Uh, all don't worry the too much about it. Though they're well trained, could, where else but at Disneyland would divers have I a job in which they get to do some fun things while in the water? Playing with giant sea bass and uh, giant clams, that sort of thing. That's kind yeah, of odd. Playing with giant with sea bass Under isn't the water with the Disney this. divers. This is Mark Eads reporting for OCRegister.com. All right, there we have it. I do have another video. Let me. So I did manage to find another video on this. It's also the Finding Nemo submarine voyage scuba team, and it's by the Disney Parks. Hi, I'm Tom Self. I'm a diver at Finding Nemo submarine voyage. Welcome to every role a starring role. It's the same guy as seen before, though. I'm a outside machinist at the Finding Nemo submarine voyage. We uh, take care of the submarines, the uh, figures in the water, the animation in the water. We have maintenance. Yeah, they do have to. Oh God, there's a the freaking sea care bass of, again. Looked at every day. I don't know if this Maintain, is the same uh, the footage. Maintain the attractions, integrity, and guest safety. Most of the divers are machines. I have no we clue. Do this have is the same footage. Divers, oh, there they go. Divers. We have four people to a dive team. We have two divers in the water, and then we have a standby but I believe diver, they do a safety this diver on board that monitors every night, the right? And then we have our dive person in charge of the dive, and they can stay in contact with the safety diver. They keep an eye on the dive. Um, on average, we'll spend uh, three to oh, four hours a night in the water. Why are oh, the they so focused on this one sea bass, though? I work with some bass, of the best people I've ever worked with. The training it takes to do this requires. I know there are less animatronics courses, in the diver, um, diver, and then rescue. Right. If somebody wanted to get into this kind of Nemo, work. They need a background it's in, uh, in some kind of technical field. We got people who come from automotive right. background, yeah. aviation background. This is a unique experience, and uh, it's putting on the best show we can for the guests. In the morning, we come through, and you see people getting off the attractions, big grins on their faces, smiles. It makes you feel good. My favorite part about this role is. Uh, getting to dive every day. 
I enjoy doing it uh, on the outside. And, diving uh, is pretty fun. I've done like scuba do diving for, hobby I believe it was two years I've done it. And, uh, uh, I've actually How many people di get to go like, swimming around at Disneyland? I dived, I don't know if that's the right word, but um, yeah, I, this video wasn't that bad.